Hello everybody, we are here in Tocado y Hundido radio program. My name is Ander and I'm going to be with you in this interview. And with me is going to be another character. Well, my friend, Iker. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm perfect. Uh, I'm having a nice experience here in Ireland. And how are you, my friend, Ander? Cool. Lovely. So we are going to talk about your experience doing canoeing. In general, which mark would you put to the experience? Oh, in a general opinion, I would put a um, 7 or an 8 because it was very funny. We have some problems, but don't worry because, because uh, the views were perfect. But in my personal opinion, it was a, a 6 more or less because we were uh, like uh, 8 hours canoeing and my arms were dead, completely dead. Oh my God, very good answer. Did you feel tired after being too many hours there? Oh, yes. I was very tired because after doing eight hours of canoeing, oh, my, my arms and my body was like a dead person. I need to sleep. Uh, I agree with you. So do you enjoy the views of the trip? Yes, I love it. We could see trees, uh, persons walking or people, I don't mind. And we could see some uh, snakes in the water and tops <laughs> between the, the seaweed. But in general, it was an, a nice and a perfect view. Of course, of course. Fantastic. And did you have any problem in the experience? Yes, that. Uh, like I told uh, before, we have some little problems with one top of one friend of us. But before this... In the first rapid, we fall and Charlie didn't help us. Please, Charlie, please, Charlie. Yes, yes, please, because he, um, he didn't do anything. But then we have a bigger problem. We can see with one piece of clothes that we were um, playing and suddenly it sank. And well, oh, what a pity. Nice story. Well, that's evening for the moment. That's everything for the moment. Thank you very much, Iker. Thank you, Ander. I love you. Well, I'm not going to pay you, but well. Don't worry, I'm a volunteer. And now we are going to love continue you. here with a very interesting conversation between Nerea and Sandra about gender, gender discrimination. Enjoy it. Nowadays, women are still in a lower social position than men. In addition, in the same job, there are some differences between salaries in men and women. Yes, because in some jobs, the women do the same, same hours than men. So they, are still, uh, they are still have less salary than them. Uh, furthermore, uh, the jobs that required physical strength are more connected with men than with women and I think that uh, women can do or can do the same. Then we have the law system that in Spain uh, we have an example of La Manada that they were uh, five men that rape a, rape a girl in San Fermin party. Yeah. And uh, nowadays they are free. Yeah, and um, in my opinion, it's so bad that uh, the three girls were three men. Yes. And I, I think that you can't judge somebody if you are a boy, you can't imagine what, uh, what a girl, is that? Yes. Uh, can, can feel like uh, it. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, one of those three agrees in giving them the freedom. And they didn't say it was a rape because the girl uh, didn't defend herself. And I think uh, if you are scared, uh, one of the effects can be that you get paralyzed. So yes, you don't you even know that. I think that the girl was afraid and... The, Imagine uh, you are along with five boys. Uh, I oh, scared, wouldn't yes. uh, be able to defend yourself. Yes. No. Um, for example, in sports, when we turn on the television. We can see all the sports. Well, well, the most of the sports, for example, football or basketball, they are always uh, talking about 
the men, the men. And, and not girl football or girl basketball or no. that. And I don't I don't understand why because there are a lot of girls that play a f- <laughs> spectacular. Yes, yes, yes. And nowadays there are and there are a lot of demonstrations. Yes, in Spain, uh, like we said, La Manada example. Yeah, they were a lot of a lot of them. We didn't to fight yes. uh, against the the, the rapes, law, the, the rapes, and and the that they they see the woman's body like a sexual thing. Yes, yes. So we are uh, fighting for that. Uh, for example, in Argentina, uh, they um, they have the abortion. Yes, it's al- nowadays it's allowed in Argentina, yeah. and I hope that that uh, will expand. Um, for example, it's a great um, step for us. Y- for the example, uh, there are some things that uh, boys maybe didn't realize. But when we are uh, walking down the street, uh, Night often or we have to put up with some vulgar things that they told us uh, because of our clothes, of because of our body, makeup, a uh, body, and the stupid things. That, for example, when you are walking at night uh, to home. You have to keep the keys on your hand and your mm-hmm. mobile phone. Yes, and your mobile phone, and be aware if something happens. Yeah, we. I think that we are free, and we we can do uh, anything that. The- okay, after this fantastic conversation, we are going to listen and pay attention another interview between Aitor and Eder, and the theme is video games. So let's go. Uh, thank you, Ander, and welcome to our program, uh, Tocado y Hundido, Aitor. Thanks. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, video games, uh, between the difference about uh, Fortnite and uh, player announced Battlegrounds, that there mm-hmm. are the two uh, games that there are broken uh, records today. Uh, which game you prefer, Fortnite or uh, player announced Battlegrounds? Mm, I think that... In a point of view of a better game, the player announced it's a better game because of the graphics and the demo of the game that is a, a nice battle royale that a battle royale who the people that doesn't know what is it. It's one hundred of players throwing throw it into a island and they have to pick weapons and armors and kill the others. And the one who is still alive wins. Then the player unknowns battlegrounds or PUBG has better graphics and but is there are the matches are very long, but the Fortnite is like more eh, arcade, but the matches are very quickly and that's good for the people who is playing that game. They prefer the Fortnite because of that. Then I would say that the player unknowns battlegrounds is a better game, but the Fortnite is a better experience. Uh, okay, after this, uh, I'm going to ask you uh, one question, that mm-hmm. is, uh, which game is your favorite? But you can say uh, Fortnite or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Okay, I think right now my favorite game would be Overwatch. Um, what is Overwatch? Overwatch is a game and with a lot of play modes, but the most famous is the 6 versus 6, uh, fighting for a point or for a transport that they have to defend or attack and it's a game with a lot of characters and you can do a lot of things in that game and I like the way to play some characters and it's the first game that I buy and I have feelings about this game. Okay, sounds nice, sounds nice game. Uh, And to finish this interview, uh, I'm going to ask you which game you hate? You You can play to that game, it's like you hate it. Really, I haven't a game that I hate a lot. You know, it's like if I buy a game, it's because I know that I'm going to play it. But I have one game that I don't play a lot because doesn't uh, make me feel that wow, this game is very good. But I like this game. But is if all my games, the one that I like less than the others, at least the Rainbow Six. 
it's a good game, but I don't play it a lot. Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, answer uh, with sincerity and we see you later. And mm -hmm. thank you to come to us program. Thank you to you to invite me. And now, thanks, Sander, for your work, but now you can rest and leave the program in my hands. Now, Paula and Adrian are going to talk about the match in the World Cup between Spain and Russia. Let's go. What do you think about yesterday's match? I think uh, Spain plays better than Croatia, and he deserves it, deserves it because he has the, all the possession. Yeah, I think the same, but for you, it was penalty or no? For me, yes, because Piqué um, gives the, with the hand and it wasn't an intentional. Yes, I know, but then a Russian player pushed and, and pulled to Piqué. And for me, that was penalty. For you, it was penalty or no? For me too, but the VAR says that it wasn't any, so nothing happens. I think the VAR was in Russia's favor. Uh, what do you think? I think the same, but do you like the VAR? No, I hate it because I think that they are in energy in the football. That's true now, but uh, if all the games were like this, the people, people st uh, stop watching the games. Now the football is like that and we can do anything. Well, the time is over, Paula. Oh yes, bye everyone, have a nice day. Okay, thanks to both of you for your information and opinion about this. Uh, now we are going to listen to the daily reflections of Eder, Ander, Aitor, Nerea and Lucas. Enjoy them. Hello, I am Eder and I am going to explain what we do today. To start the day, uh, after the lunch, we go to make uh, cupcakes with the form of Cookie Monster, Hamburger and an ice cream. After the dinner, we go to jump to the pier and to fish crabs. And we fish one crab uh, with the side of a head. Well, my name is Ander. Today is, today is Wednesday. Um, we have been at Lizzie's house with with Maite and Tony um, they started asking us to how are we going to make the radio pro program and that kind of things and then at the afternoon we have been making cupcakes and at finally, finally at night we have been at the pier try, trying to catch in some crabs and well I, I catched a three or four or, th or four I don't remember because well I'm the best one at that and that's everything. Hello, I'm Aitor and I'm going to talk about the activities we do today. First of all, we do yoga with Liz. After doing yoga, we go to Edel's house to have lunch and do exercises related with music, like listening to a song while we were correcting the lyrics. After that, we return to the Liz's house to do some costumes with newspapers and recycling objects. Well, today is the 28th of, of June and we are in Ireland and well, in the morning we've been at Lizzie's house doing yoga for two hours more or less and it was so good, I liked so much the class. Then we all came to to Edel's house and we have had lunch here uh, and the meal was was flawless. Yeah. After having lunch we've done a um, listening exercise with Brian and then at three o'clock We've been at Liz's house um, again and we were making some costumes in three different groups and then 
um, we've been taking pictures and that's all and this is a fantastic day hi i am lucas i'm 12 years old and i am going to explain what i do today first we do a circuit training with ryan uh, later we went to a castle that her name is friends castle and we get lunch there um, later we go to the supermarket um, and to finish we uh, get, um, get a family dinner with Cajal that come back. My favorite part of the day is the castle because I I like it and I learn a little bit. Your reflections were very lovely guys. Thanks. But now Sandra and Nether are going to tell us the experience that we have shopping in Dublin. Uh, we are going to speak about the shopping center experience uh, that we did it in the first days that we arrived to um, Ireland and we are going to speak about uh, the price of the um, treat marks and what do you think about uh, that here in Ireland they are more cheaper because in Spain we don't have a lot of shops of treat marks so here uh, are cheaper here you can find a lot of shops everywhere and in Spain you may have two or three uh, yes, uh, for example, uh, one Puma hoodie uh, in Spain uh, cost about uh, 50 euros and in uh, Ireland, in Dublin, uh, like 35 or 30 euros. And this is all. Thank you very much to come to the uh, radio program Tocado y Hundido. <laughs> and thank you very much. Sandra, Eder, thank you for that. I know that is very sad, but I have to leave the program. But taking over for me is going to be Iker. I let this for you, Iker. Okay, thank you, Aitor. Thank you for your work. Uh, but now I'm going to leave you with Maite, that uh, she is going to talk about how to make a pizza oven. Uh, first base, um, you made a hole uh, filled with some glass bottle and sand covered with uh, bricks. Then uh, you step in uh, to get softer the mouth. Um, and you have to add sand to be more stronger and continue stepping. Um, you can add water to uh, do more easier. Then uh, you have the, to stick the bricks of the base with uh, some mouth. After uh, stick the bricks and wait to dry, uh, the mood you have uh, to make a sand mountain covered with uh, newspapers and with wood uh, you have to make the hole of the pizza oven. Um, then um, we have to make a, um, a mix of mood and sand again and uh, when you finish it you have to throw in balls uh, to the sand structure. And then uh, with another um, frame of a uh, mouth, uh, but in this case with a straw, uh, you have to make uh, the mix again and then uh, throw to the previous uh, work, but uh, you have to take care to don't destroy it. And then uh, let it uh, dry for a week before you use it. Okay, thank you, Maite, for your very interesting uh, topic. But just keeping with the daily experiences, uh, now we are going to um, to listen uh, Iker, Paula, Maite, Adrián and Sandra about talking some experience that uh, they had in one trip to Ireland. Hi, I'm Iker and today I'm going to explain what we do today. First of all, we had a great sleeping until 12 because at 12 Ryan came to have a class with him. After that, we had a picnic in Ferns Castle because later we had a tour on it. Uh, after the tour, we went to Gorry and make purse to buy a list of things that Lisa and Edel gave to us to buy in the supermarket of Gorry. Hi, I'm Paula and I'm going to explain what we do today. 
After the breakfast, we went to their house and we cooked muffins and bread. Then we went to play the tin whistle and after that we eat the lunch. Finally, we play one game, the treasure hunt, that touch blue. Today is the 30th of June and um, this morning we play the whistle. Um, it was a little bit disaster because um, the majority of us don't know how to play it. So it was funny to see them um, trying to do, um, <laughs> do very bad. And then um, we uh, go cooking with Adele, uh, making a very easy recipes like cakes, muffins, and all of them were delicious. I really enjoyed that. Um, then uh, after uh, lunch, uh, we go around the, the beach and the beer and the rose uh, doing a treasure hunt. And my team lose, but it was funny because uh, we were relaxed and uh, um, uh, look the landscape, so not was a uh, problem to lose. Um, after the dinner, uh, we went to the pier and it was uh, great because the um, a hot, the water was hot and the water was. Is so nice. So finally, we have a, a lovely day and um, very funny. Today, on the first of July, the coming breakfast, we go to the beach next to a pier to do kayak. We do kayak more or less one hour. And after that, we go to the pier to jump. And we don't care about the cold water. After that, we go to, we come back to the house and it the lunch and then we go to the sea house to see Spain match, Spain versus Russia and unfortunately Spain losing the penalties and after that with the dinner uh, with pizzas with the pizza with that we made the last week and then we go for a walk to the beach and after that we come back home Hi, I'm Sandra and I'm going to explain what we have done today. After breakfast, we went kayaking and swimming to the pier. The water was so cold. After going home to have lunch, we watched the Spain versus Russia match. In the afternoon, we cooked pizza in the oven we built last week. It was delicious. Uh, at half past nine, each group went to each house. Okay, thank you for all the daily experiences. But now, as our last topic, uh, we have an interview between Lucas and Nander about the food of Ireland and Spain food. Please, Nander. Hello, everybody. I'm back to the studio. And, well, now I'm here with Lucas. Are you okay? Yes. Fantastic. So now we're going to, cho- we're going to talk about food. Nice team theme, no? Yes, I like it. Me too. First question, do you enjoy Irish food? Which one do you enjoy the most? Uh, um, yes, I enjoy it. My favorite food is the pizza. <laughs> only, only pizza? Do you like anything else? Mm, yes, but uh, I say that in the thing that we ate in Ireland, the pizza oh, is okay. the... Oh, okay. okay. Another nice answer, but that's not an Irish food. Name one, please. So, I like the Irish bread. I know the Irish breakfast. Yes, but uh, I eat bread in the breakfast. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes. Very good bread. But now I need to ask you the most important question. Which food do you prefer, Spanish or Irish? Sp- Spanish, because the Spanish omelette is my favorite food. Oh, I like um, the kebabs too. I, I, I know that it's not Spanish, but I like it. I don't mind. But that don't, that's not yes, yes, yes. the question. I like the paella. Ah, good answer too. Yes, I yes. love the paella. Yes. Typical Valencia's food. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. So, well, mm, for my point of view, the Spanish food is quite better because... 
we we use uh, more ingredients and more no, more more of everything. Yes, uh, it's, it's more spicy. Yeah, more spicy. Yes. Yeah, they, What's your opinion, Lucas? Yes, I think the same, and um, that we use more things and and we have more uh, different recipes than in I in Ireland. Yes, I think that the Irish food is more uh, like. Mm. <laughs> she, uh, the Irish food. <laughs> 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 the Irish food needs something else. <laughs> yes, of course. One of the things that I love of, of Ireland are uh, the deserts. <laughs> We. <laughs> the deserts of. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, sorry, but thank you, Ander and Lucas, for this. <laughs> for this perfect interview. But this is all we have time for today. Thank you all for listening to our radio podcast. And one important, important, very important thing is to have a good day and goodbye. Goodbye, my listenings. Goodbye.